Hi everybody, my name is Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, okay, so um, one more quick suggestion for President-elect Donald J. Trump. Um, okay, so as I mentioned in the video just a moment ago, um, that uh, Barack Obama, if on day one, had legalized marijuana, he would have created 20 million new jobs in his eight years of presidency. If you are to do that now, President-elect Trump, you in your first four years as president, you will create 20 million new jobs. You will give you hear the Democrats all the time when they're pushing this uh, climate change and we need to be the leaders in climate change technology for the world moving into the 21st century. If you legalize marijuana, you'll give the people something they actually want, something that's good for them, something that actually kills cancer, a medicine that works. You will give such a boom to the economy, it will be like at the beginning of the internet. When, when people first started getting the internet in everybody's homes across America, and there was just this massive boom of business and free trade, if you legalize marijuana, none of this federal reg regulation bullshit, do it like Maine. Maine made it so that anyone can possess marijuana, anyone over 21 can buy marijuana, anyone can grow marijuana, and anyone can sell marijuana. They just have to charge a 10% tax. You make it like that, you'll create 40 million new jobs in the United States in your first eight years guaranteed you do what Denver did where you say it's illegal you know in bars and restaurants and specific bars and restaurants to consume cannabis 50 million maybe a hundred million new jobs it will be this incredible boom for the American economy you will take all this billions and billions and billions and billions of black market dollars and put them into the American economy and tax all that billions and billions of dollars will now be taxable and the American people will be happier and healthier and wanting and when people are happier and healthier they want to go out and enjoy their lives and spend their money and live their lives and and they won't be afraid that the police state might stop them and dig through their pocket and find a joint and ruin their fucking lives so they don't have to hide in their homes anymore it will be such an incredible boom for the American economy you will immediately, immediately, you don't need any, you don't need any funding at all. You will immediately be producing thousands and thousands, if not millions and millions of jobs, just the second it's done. Those jobs will begin, people will begin hiring those people the second you sign that paperwork. So if what you really want is to make America great, which I think America is great. I mean, except for the whole police state stuff, you take that away and you give the people their freedom. Make America free again. If you make America free again, America will move straight into greatness. It's what limits our greatness is our ability to be free. So please, President-elect Trump, please consider my words and create a whole new industry overnight with the snap of your fingers that 
that the average man can tap into immediately. Please, President-elect Trump, make America free again. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Mike. This is my YouTube page. My YouTube page, Mox News. Uh, if you'd like to make sure Mox News sticks around for 2017 and the presidency of Donald J. J. Donald J. Trump, uh, it's easy to help make that happen. You can go to moxnews.com and there's links there to donate to Mox News. Or uh, right below this video, in the text body of the video, there's a little box that says show more. It says Mox News needs your help to continue. And there's links there. This makes it very easy to donate in just a couple of minutes. And I appreciate so much you taking a couple of minutes out of your busy day and just putting a little something in my bowl. It, it means the world to me. It makes the difference between Mox News being on YouTube and Mox News no longer being on YouTube. Because the only reason after the fight that I've had to go through to stay on YouTube, the only reason Mox News is still here is because of support from viewers, generous viewers like yourself. So, I thank you all. Stay cool. One of these days this war is going to end. Till that day. Compassion stirred the Buddha to send his monks out into the community. Sworn to chastity and poverty, they wandered the roads, bringing the Buddha's teachings into the world. Go forth, monks, for the happiness of the many, out of compassion for the world. There are beings whose eyes have little dust on them, who will perish if they do not hear the teaching. But if they hear the teaching, they will gain liberation. The monks exist by begging. We think of begging as kind of a bad thing. Begging in this tradition is a good thing. It's a sign of spiritual purity. You're not allowed to beg tomorrow's lunch today. Only today's lunch. Then you can't eat from noon until dawn the next day. Then you have to go out and get another lunch. And then in exchange for lunch, you give a lecture. Unless they say, we don't want to hear about it, then you don't. But that's the only thing you, but that forces you to interact with the lay community. And if you're not serving them, if you're not doing something useful for them, they won't put anything in your bowl and that will be the end of your community.